Hey there, boys and girls. There's Salty Alaska Rambo with another Thirsty Thursday rant. I believe this is uh, episode 39. Yep, didn't do one last week. Don't really have much to rant about today, um, other than just the constant uh, government disappointment and everything, you know, this fake fucking two-party system. Uh, did any of you catch that uh, vagina goop? candle flavored fucking debate <laughs> about as crazy as Britney Spears wielding kitchen knives <laughs> but uh, Britney Spears is way sexier still than that uh, goop candle debate what a bunch of fuckers man all these politicians they don't care about people they don't care about you. They don't care about me. They seem to become millionaires for being public servants. Hmm. Kind of weird. Bunch of criminals that run the government. IRS, FBI, CIA. All the alphabet fucking three-letter fucking organizations and whatnot. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I've been busy canning up fucking garden greens. I did a bunch of carrots I canned up. A bunch of stew veggies, you know, onions and, and carrots and, and potatoes together. I've been smoking salmon. I'm getting ready to do another batch, about three more pounds of some of my most excellent ginger sesame garlic teriyaki jerky. Oh, yeah. A little bit of brown sugar in there, you know, get a little bit of sweetness up in there. Hey, it's cold season, got to have an extra kick, you know. <laughs> but, oh, let's see what else. It's been really nice out. I'm going to be getting the uh, equipment showing up again tomorrow for the weekend. And, yeah, then I can finish up some dirt work and get our bedroom addition all going on. It'll be fucking sweet because that'll be really nice. So then I can move my man chair back into the house. <laughs> oh, man. Every man needs a place to sit down and relax. I got plenty around here. It's always nice to go and lay on the fucking ground, too, and just sprawl out. And when was the last time you laid down and just looked up at the sky, like when you were a kid and found a nice mossy area in the woods and, and laid down or laid down on the lawn or the grass somewhere? somewhere peaceful where where you remember who who you are where you came from once again you know and that that you're free or born that way everyone was the only reason you're not free is because you're not allowing yourself to be free no one else can tell you what to do with your life don't let them don't let them but uh, Good days, getting some stuff moved around and ready for equipment. But, yep. <laughs> Country's going. Already went to hell in a handbasket pre-1984. Got a little better for a little while there. It was pretty nice to live through the 80s and 90s and stuff. And, yep, and then it got wonky again. By the turn of uh, about 97 on up. Got super wonky. <laughs> and then you see what's going on now and here and today. Wowzer Bowser. Just take care of yourselves. Learn how to grow some food. Learn how to process some meat. Don't worry about that botulism, man. Now, obviously, your shit was nasty before you canned it or fucking what the hell ever or wasn't stored properly or some shenanigans happened in the. The natural way of things and uh, usually human air. But, oh yeah, don't let anyone know what's in your jolly jar, man. You'll be all right. <laughs> don't need no fingers other than mine in here. Mm -hmm. Kind of like our government sticking their fingers in everyone's pie and they didn't even help make the crust. Which I'm about ready to make some crust. I was like, all the wood stoves are going. Yeah. Make some pie crust and do some 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 of that man quiche. 
Yeah, throw some of that bacon, some fucking ham or sausage, some broccoli and some onions and fuck yeah, and cheese and cream cheese and everything. Make make a fucking quiche. And then one of these days I'll I'll uh, do a video when I'm making my uh, Hawaiian quiche. Yeah, that is a wonder because you spam in that. But I'll also do a video of making the Spam myself instead of buying that over-salted, nasty sodium that they put in everything. That's a bad sodium that they put in everything. All of our foods, that is, there's a rant for you right there. Just going off about all these processed foods and shit. It's all that extra crap that they put in. It's like my bacon. My jerky. It's just simple pink Himalayan sea salt. And black pepper. Dry brine. I do that with my fish, stuff like that, you know, when I'm just doing plain stuff. You know, jerky, everything. Just a little pinch of salt. That's all you need. The good salt. But yeah, that spam is just that spiced ham from, you know, like World War One. And before that, yeah, spam, spiced ham. Yeah, well, you can make it yourself, and I'll show you how in an upcoming video. It'll probably be a couple weeks before I get to that, though, because I got a lot going on. And then we might tool back up to the hills, have a nice little vacay reprieve like we did last weekend, and uh, did some cold, some, uh, cold uh, plunging into the spring water pond uh, down the slide and everything. So that was awesome. We also got the Papa Young Boy's Cherry out there. He's 23. So we turned him into a man proper, and it was his first time cold dipping. And, yeah had a blast so we had a youngster in the crew that was fishing with one of our other friends so yep turned him into a man <laughs> raisins and all <laughs> <laughs> not to mention some really good happy mushroom tea about three different kinds of happy mushrooms in that tea man we're all having a really good time but anyways, can't wait to go vacation up in the hills again. Get up to our big cabin. Because our cabin up there is like a home compared to what we live in here. We got a couple cabins here. You know, we got our one we live in. Then we got a storage cabin. But then we go up to the hills and it's like... <laughs> like going, staying at some huge Airbnb. You know, just full on dot com. And nice and peaceful and quiet. So, anyways... Do your push-ups, do your sit-ups, keep your core strengthened, do your stretches. I can't stress that enough. I need to do it more. Wife always gives me shit. I should be wearing my boot because it kind of fucked up my foot, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm a stubborn-ass fucking Alaskan, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, stay safe, stay salty, stay vigilant, stay strapped, stay frosty. And everything will be all right. It's your salty Alaskan Rambo out.